I was so excited um, to sit down with my girl, Gigi Marco. She happens to be one of our gem masters here at Jewelry Television. And I, she was so excited to come in and talk about Ammonite. And I want you to take a look at this clip because she's got a lot of education to share with you about Ammonite that you might not know about. So take a look at this. This segment I'm really excited about because I've got a special girl here with me right now. Her name is Gigi Marco. She, you might know her. She's one of our JTV hosts as well. Hello, girl. Hey, Dawn. I am so excited to have you. I really am. I know, we never see each other. I know. We're like ships in the night. I just wave from way down here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just curious. What you holding in your hand there, girl? This is a very, very special piece of ammonite. And in this case, Ugh. it is covered with amylite. This is a very, very special and rare type of organic yeah. gemstone. And this particular one is actually the very, very yes. specimen featured in, in the SGR. In the first series volume of the SGR book. Look at that! Very, it's bigger than, it's like larger than life. I mean, that piece is so amazing. Now, you act like it's really light. That piece is very heavy. She's, <laughs> she's work, do, having her workout right now. <laughs> You know, one question we get a lot of from customers is, you know, what's what's the difference between an ammonite and an amylite? That is a fantastic question. And really, it's that amylite is a very small percentage of the ammonite shells that are found throughout the world. So ammonite, yeah. like this one right over here, is actually a, um, a mollusk, a cephalopod mollusk that existed between 240 million to about 66 or 65 million years ago. They became extinct around the time of the dinosaurs. Now, they are um, actually an ancestor of common squid and nautilus shells like you see washed up on the beach. Yeah. But what's special here is that this material has become fossilized. So it's an organic gemstone and about 5% of the um, ammonite shells can develop this beautiful rainbow Gosh, iridescence. It almost looks like play of color in an opal, but it's actually made of the same material as a pearl, conchylin, which makes up the nacre of a pearl. Um, this material is really, really rare. It only comes from Southern Alberta in Canada, and you find it in all sorts of shapes and sizes. It, it normally is found in reds and greens, but when you get this blue and a little bit of purple in there, that's the rarest color for sure. And it can be very, very valuable. Now they, they also come in different sizes too. I mean, that's true. small to massive. Well, just like a, a regular squid you know, um, or a nautilus that you would see swimming in the ocean today. They came in all sorts of different sizes. There are many, many different um, types of ammonite shells, but only a couple of them have the ability to become this beautiful iridescent rainbow of colors. I mean, look at that. That is like um, a, a tie-dye piece. It, it does of, look like tie-dye. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's so vibrant and those colors are loved by gemologists and since about the 1980s it's been really popular in jewelry as well yeah well that's the problem is you don't <laughs> find it that often in jewelry that's true well we were just talking before oh, we sat down yeah. didn't we about the fact that here at jtv we're one of the world's largest retailers of gemstones and jewelry we yeah. have just a handful of pieces um in, in our inventory and that's it i know it is and this is our this is our third gemstone if you're following the book mm -hmm. uh with uh by the book by don tesh uh the legacy of jerry sis we are following his book and this is the third gemstone in his book and we are so trying hard to get some product for that mm -hmm. for that show and we're there, we're there. We got some surprises for you. I have to tell you, Don, we use this book day yes. in and day out as gemologists here at JTV. We really do refer to it during our Loose Gemstone yeah. shows where people follow yeah. along, but also in my day-to-day -day, um, work life work here yeah. while I'm planning shows, while I'm doing research, when I'm traveling to Tucson. It, it's really a big part of my daily life and I can't recommend it highly enough. I know, I, this is something that is very easy to read too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's, which is really nice, and it's so, I call it the Bible of the gemstone <laughs> book. It really is. 
It, it really is. is, and the photos are absolutely, I mean, you should buy it just for the photos alone. They're amazing. They are, and 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 also, you know, you are a big gemstone person as well. We're, we're GG, uh, GGs, not, <laughs> and gem geeks. Yes. And so tell me a little bit about, you know, what you see in jewelry, like, when you go out to, because you're going to the Tucson show? I am going to the Tucson show. What? I mean, do you think you're going to see very many pieces like jewelry I'll made? I'll tell home? you, it's always hard to find the organic gemstones there, but in particular, amylite and high quality amylite. So amylite tends to come in different patterns. They call it really colorful things like, oh, dragon skin, or sometimes I've heard it referred to as torchlight, um, yeah. the different patterns that it occurs in. It can come in two different ways, like a stained glass pattern where there's crackling or cracking throughout that mm -hmm. rainbow of colors, or they call it sheet amylite. Both are highly desirable. That crackled effect looks like a beautiful mosaic, mm -hmm. and both of them can be extremely expensive. So the few pieces that we do have here at JTV, I'm always amazed at how affordable they mm -hmm. can be. I know, you know, cause I've seen on like the internet and stuff, they have like si tire size ones. You were telling me that. And they're like hundreds of thousands of dollars. I dream of maybe one day, you know, Oh, Wouldn't anyway. that be incredible? Well, no, I can't afford that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Well, thank you so much for joining me thank today. Thank you for having this me. This was so much fun, and I hope you'll come back and see us. Again. Anytime, Don. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Stay tuned. we got more to come.